All right, let's pull back the curtain on one of the most powerful yet totally invisible forces that protects our entire digital world, encryption. It's the silent guardian of pretty much everything you do online, and today, we're gonna figure out exactly how it works. You see this little lock icon every single day, right? But have you ever stopped to wonder what's really going on behind the scenes? What's the complex machinery working behind that simple symbol to shield your messages, your passwords, your credit card numbers from prying eyes? That's the mystery we're unpacking today. At its heart, you can think of encryption as a digital lock and key system. I mean, it's basically a mathematical process designed for one single purpose, to turn our secrets into unreadable code, making sure only the right person can ever understand them. Okay, so let's get the official lingo down. This process is called encryption. It takes your normal, readable information, we call that plain text, and it scrambles it into a totally unreadable secret code, which we call ciphertext. The goal is super simple. If anyone intercepts the message, all they're gonna see is a bunch of meaningless gibberish. So the basic idea is pretty straightforward. You start with your message. Then a special digital key scrambles it into that ciphertext. And then on the other end, that exact same key is used to unlock the message, turning it right back into its original readable form. But that kind of begs the question, what exactly is this key? Well, the first and simplest approach is what we call the one key system. And it is incredibly fast. It's efficient, but yeah, it comes with one major glaring problem. This is called symmetric encryption. The name kind of says it all, right? It's symmetrical. One single secret key is used to both lock the message and unlock it. Just think of it like your house key. The very same key you use to lock the door is the exact one you need to get back inside. So if it's got a flaw, why even use it? Well, one word, speed. Symmetric encryption is an absolute workhorse because it's so incredibly fast. We're talking about protecting huge amounts of data, like all the files on your computer's hard drive, or the massive stream of data that flows through a VPN. This is where you see industry standard algorithms like AES doing the heavy lifting. But here it is, the fatal flaw. How do you get that single secret key to your friend in the first place? I mean, if you just send it over the internet, a hacker could just snatch it out of the air. And if they have the key, well, they have everything. This is what's known as the key distribution problem. And trust me, it's a huge one. So to solve that fatal flaw, some brilliant minds came up with a truly clever, almost magical invention, and this is the two-key solution. It's called asymmetric encryption, and instead of just one key, it uses a mathematically linked pair of them. They're a team. They work together, but they do very, very different jobs. Okay, here's how it works. You have two keys, a public key and a private key. The public key you can share with absolutely everyone. You can shout it from the rooftops. Its only job is to lock messages. But the private key, that is for your eyes only. You never, ever share it. Its only job is to unlock the messages that your public key locked. And this is the genius of it. I can post my public key on my website. Anyone in the world can use it to encrypt a secret message and send it to me. And even if a hacker intercepts that message, it's completely useless to them. Why? Because the only thing on the entire planet that can decrypt it is my private key, which never left my computer. Problem solved. So, is it more secure? Oh, absolutely. But you know, there's always a trade-off. This two-key system requires a lot more number crunching, a lot more computational power, which means it's significantly slower than the one-key system. This is where you see famous algorithms like RSA in action. So, let's recap. We have a system that's super fast but has a sharing problem, and another that's super secure but kind of slow. So what does modern technology do? Well, it pulls off a masterstroke and gets the absolute best of both worlds. You see, the real magic of modern security is that we don't have to choose. The solution isn't symmetric or asymmetric. It's using both of them together in this brilliant process called hybrid encryption. Here's how that secure handshake works. When your browser connects to a secure website, you first use the slow but super secure two-key system. And what are you doing? You're not sending your real data yet. You're just using it to safely exchange a brand new one-time use secret key. Then once that key is securely in place, both sides switch over to the super fast one-key system to exchange the actual data. And the result? Bam! You get the fortress-like security of the two-key system for that crucial initial handshake, combined with the lightning-fast speed of the one-key system for the actual conversation. It's elegant, it's efficient, and it is the backbone of all modern secure communication. And this powerful hybrid system isn't some obscure, nerdy technology. No way! It is everywhere. 
protecting you every single day, hiding right there in plain sight. That little lock icon on HTTPS websites we talked about? That's hybrid encryption. Those end-to-end -end encrypted messaging apps like WhatsApp and Signal? That's it too. Every single time you do your online banking, make a payment, or connect to a server, this beautiful complex dance of mathematics is happening in the background keeping you safe. So let's do a final showdown, just to lock it all in. Symmetric, one key, super fast, and it's the champ for bulk data. Asymmetric, two keys, a bit slower, but it's absolutely perfect for sharing keys securely. And the most important part, the modern internet gets the best of both by using them together. Look, today's encryption standards like AES and RSA are incredibly strong against the computers we have now. They're like a modern bank vault. But the next frontier is already on the horizon. What happens when a totally new type of computer, a quantum computer, comes along with enough power to potentially shatter the math behind these locks? Well, that is the next great challenge in the amazing world of cryptography.